hello everyone welcome back to this video series wherein we are looking the questions from basa certification prep guide so in this video we will see the questions from understanding data step processing chapter so the first question says which of the following is not created during the compilation phase the first option says data set descriptor portion the second option says first observation third option says program data vector and the last option says underscore and underscore and underscore error underscore automatic variables so during the compilation phase we'll have the program data vector created and also in the program data vector we'll have two automatic variables underscore and underscore and underscore error underscore are created and also at the end of the compilation phase we'll have the data set descriptor portion created so the correct answer is the first observation because SAS reads or looks into the observations only during the execution phase. So during the compilation phase it checks if it understands all the syntax and then at the end of the compilation phase we will have the data set descriptor portion created. So the first observation is the correct answer. Let's see if that is the case. Yes, it says our response was correct. So let us move on to the next question. So during the compilation phase SAS scans each statement in a data step looking for syntax errors which of the following is not considered a syntax error so let us go through the options so the first one says incorrect values and formats so in sas will be able to read the values or formats only during the execution phase so uh, this seems to be the correct answer but let's move on to the other options and see if they are actually considered as syntax errors. So invalid options or variable names. So if we uh, have some invalid options used anywhere in the data step, so it it will not understand what we are actually requesting. So this is considered a syntax error. So missing or, in, or invalid punctuation. Say for example, if we have left some uh, unmatched quotes or unmatched parentheses or missed a semicolon, so that would be considered a syntax error. Similarly, missing or misspelled keywords. Say for example, instead of a CT set statement, so if we have just mentioned as a C and missed the T, so it would be considered as it will not know what we are actually requesting for and it will be considered as a syntax error. So SAS will uh, read the values and the formats only during the execution phase. So this will be considered a data error, not a syntax error. So the first option is the correct one and let's see if this is the case. So it says our response was correct. Let's move on to the next question. So unless otherwise directed, data step executes so once for each compilation phase, once for each data step statement, once for each record in the input file, once for each variable in the input file. So if this question is related to, like seems to be related to the uh, processing when we are actually reading the data from external text files or external files. So in, in that case, so what happens is data step operates in the form of a loop. Data set operates in the form of a loop. So it processes one record from our input data file at a time. So it fetches the information on, from the first record and then processes all the statements which we have given in the as part of the data step and then writes the resulting result to the our output data set and then goes and fetches the next record and then writes it to the output data set. So by default unless otherwise directed the data set data step executes once per each record in input file. So let's see if this is the correct option or not. So once per each record in the input file. So this is our response was correct. Let's move on to the next question. So at the beginning of the execution phase the value of underscore and underscore is 1 and the value of underscore error underscore is 0 and the values of the remaining variables are set to so at the beginning of the execution phase, even before it read into the, uh, even it, before it read the first record or the first uh, observation from the input data set, all the variable values would be set to missing. So we'll have to go with the third option. Let's see if this is the case. It says our response is correct. The remaining variables are initialized to missing. Missing numeric variables are represented by periods and missing character values are represented by blanks. So let's move on to the next question. 
So suppose you run a program that causes three data step errors. What is the value of the automatic variable underscore error underscore when the observation that contains the third error is processed? So underscore error underscore is used to track data errors within a particular observation and its possible values are either 1 or 0. So 0 indicates no data errors and 1 indicates at least one data error. At least one data error when processing that particular observation. So irrespective of the number of the error, data errors contained, so the value will be only set to 1. So the correct answer is option 1. So let us see if that is the case or not. So uh, it says our response is correct. Let's move on to the next question. And which of the following actions occur at the end of the data step? So the first option says the automatic variables underscore n underscore and underscore error underscore are incremented by 1. So the value of underscore error underscore is not incremented by 1. So it has to become 0 again uh, to, so that it can track if there is at least one data error in the subsequent observation. So this is not correct. So it says data step F stops execution. It doesn't. So it says the descriptor portion of the data set is written uh, of data set is written. Descriptor portion is written during the compilation phase, not during the actual end of data step processing at the execution phase. And the last option says the values of the variables created in programming statements are reset to missing in the programming data vector. And this is the correct answer. So let us see if this is the case. It says our response is correct. Let's move on to the next question. So look carefully at the data step shown below based on the input statement in what order will the variables be stored in the input data set. So when during the compilation phase when SAS reads through all the lines of the code so it creates a variable in the PDV in the order in which it sees them. So in file statement doesn't create any variables. So we have our input statement which creates variables. So the first one that appears is id num and the next one is item. Third one is in stock and then the fourth one is back back ORD and then we have an assignment statement here which is creating a variable name total by assigning summing the or adding the values of in stock to the back ORD variable. So this will be the fifth one. So we are looking for the order in which total is the last variable and id num is the first variable. So I total is at the end in two records and id num is at the beginning only on the first record. So first option seems to be the correct one. Let us see that if this is the case. It says our response was correct. Let's move on to the next question. It says if SAS cannot interpret syntax errors, so what does it do? So this is a theoretical question. So it actually goes ahead with the compilation and then does not execute. So the data step still complies, uh, compiles and then but it does not execute is the correct answer. So let's move on to the next question. So what is wrong with this program? So data perm dot update in file invent uh, looks like there is a missing semicolon here. So after the input because nothing on the next line seems to be an option on the in file statement. So here we have semicolon missed and then input statement back already total. So something seems to be like the first option seems to have the required answer missing semicolon on second line. But let us take a look at the other options missing semicolon on third line. So if we place a semicolon on the second line, so uh, back ORD is being read on the next is written on the next line, but it is part of the input statement only. So that is not the correct option. So incorrect order of variables, incorrect variable type. So we'll not know unless like whether the variable order is incorrect or in uh, variable type is incorrect unless we have the data. But here if we Clearly see we have the first option which says missing semicolon on the second line seems to be the more correct answer. So let us see, check if that is the case. It says our response is correct and let's move on to the next question. So it says look carefully at this section of the SAS session log 
based on the note what was the most likely problem with the data step so here it says invalid data for id num in line 7 and from columns 15 to 19 so we have been given the data line uh, which had which is which was causing the errors and from position 15 to 19 so here it starts at 1 2 3 4 this plus sign indicates 5 and this is 10 and then 11 12 13 14 15 so at 15th position so if we take a look at the value so from 15 to 19 it said so 15 to 19 we have information called lg 088 so this has some characters character data and also some numeric data but it is being read from 15 to 19 it has some character information and it said underscore error underscore is equal to 1 is being set so and the id num value has a missing numeric value so this seems like the id num is being read as a numeric variable but it has some information which is present in the form of character data so let's see if we have any options which are related to that so it says a keyword was misspelled in the data step this doesn't seem to be the case a semicolon was missing from the infile statement so it would have resulted in a syntax error and it would not have gone to the extent of uh, execution of that data step so if that was the case a variable was misspelled in the input statement a dollar sign was missing on the input statement so id num if you see here it is clearly uh, being read as a numeric variable so that's why the missing value is being represented as dot but if we see from the positions 15 to 19 we have some character data so the last option a dollar sign was missing on the input statement seems to be the more appropriate syntax error so let's see if that is the case so it says our response was correct thank you for watching and keep learning